Hey dear hemp lovers, uh, I'm Suresh Kamire with Yukon Extension. I work with vegetables and hemp in the state. Uh, today I'm in a, in a hemp field in eastern Connecticut. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can do scouting for insects and disease uh, in a hemp field. Uh, I will walk you through the field to do scouting. This field is rectangular in shape. And I am gonna walk through the field in a double shape pattern and I'll be sure to cover all quadrants of the field. I'll make five stops, randomly inspect five leaves per plant on three plants at each stop. So that would be 15 total leaves at each stop from three plants. So let's walk into the field. So my first stop um, I'll make my first stop right here, so I will scout this plant, the second plant there, and the third plant. So at each plant I'm gonna scout five leaves uh, from top, middle, um, and I will be sure to look at the upper surface and lower surface of each of those five leaves and I will record any aphids, European corn borer, spider mites, flea beetles, leaf hoppers, thrips, and any other insects that are present on those leaves. And I will also keep record of any leaf spots, uh, powdery mildew, botrytis, sclerotinia, and other disease. Uh, that are present in um, leaves and I will also take a look at the overall plant. I'll inspect stem, crown and roots. If if plant appears uh, to be yellow or stunted or wilted and I'll make note of um, that. It doesn't look like there is any insect infestation on this plant looking from here but we won't know until we look at the leaves uh, very closely for example for aphids I'm gonna look at the lower surface of the leaf and I see an aphid right there I have a hand lens um, to magnify magnify and make sure that's aphid um, I will take that leaf off to show you what it looks like. Actually, there are a lot of aphids on the lower side of this leaf. And you can use this hand lens to make sure um, those are aphids. Um, and you can see they are moving. At each stop, I'm going to record the incidence, which is the number of individual insects, and severity, which is the percent total leaf damage. For each earth for listed, uh, in this case, I will note down the number of aphids. And on this leaf uh, that we just saw, there were 13 aphids present. Here I'm going to use the IPM scouting form from the University of Vermont Extension. As you can see, uh, this is the form for disease scouting, and this is form for uh, arthropod or uh, insect scouting and there is column for each disease and insects number and severity in most cases on this leaf you can see a damage from leaf miner there is some chewing damage when you grow hemp for cbd you just want female flowers but this one turns out to be a male flower as you can see the pollen sac you have to remove this plant as soon as possible um, and throw it away from the field so that it does not release pollens and, and there won't be any fertilization um, of the female flowers because the fertilization is believed to drastically reduce the CBD content and any other cannabinoids content. This flower bud is infested with three tarnished plant bugs from this side 
and one more from this side. So be sure to carefully look at every part of the plant. There are a few leafy spots, on, especially on the lower leaf. Um, I'll show you one here. And there is a leaf minor damage on this leaf as well. Here are aphids on the leaves of this plant. And I'm also seeing ladybug beetles. They're also called ladybird beetles or ladybug um, on the plant. They go after aphids. Notice this uh, chewing damage on the leaf. Um, it's probably from flea beetles or other chewing type of insect. Here is a brown stink bug. They go after so many crops and they suck sap from leaves and stem. This part of the plant has got some leaf burning. As you see, the leaf margin, um, it's curled up and burnt. Um, this is prob probably because of the over fertilization that the farmer has put um, at the base of the plant. Um, accidentally in some plants, um, it got over fertilized. Burning of the leaves on this plant is also due to over application of the fertilizer. Thank you for watching. Here is my contact information. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. Thank you.